hey guys you all welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you the new method that you can use to remove all samsung accounts without the password or email address just in case you're trying to sign out your samsung account from your old samsung device and then whenever you click on the sign out it will surely ask you for the password and unfortunately you might have forgotten your password as you can see and even when you try to factory reset the samsung device it keeps on asking you to sign into the samsung account using the old password yes this method i'm going to show you will work for all samsung device both the old versions and the new versions so make sure to watch this video from the beginning to the end and this video will help you out without wasting much time let's get into it in this tutorial you don't have to download any kind of software you don't need the pc or any software all you need is another samsung device just like this one that i have here So as you can see, the Samsung phone that I have on my left hand is the one that we are trying to remove the Samsung account from. And what we are going to do now is, we are going to head straight to the settings. And then you are going to click on account and backup. Then you select account, then we are going to add a new account. This new account is Google account. Now let's add a new Gmail account to the Samsung device. This can be any Gmail address. Just make sure that you know the email address and the password. And you gently sign in to the device. You go ahead and type in the password. now we have signed in a new google account to the samsung device and below you can also see that this same device has samsung account at the same time now i have the second device on my right hand and this second device is what we are going to use to remove the samsung account on the left side now we also head to the settings and connect a Wi-Fi. Once you have successfully connected a Wi-Fi network, then you go back to the settings, scroll down and go to the account section. Then you click on accounts and backup manage accounts and now we are going to add a new account so the same google account that we have signed to the device on the left that is the same account that we have to sign in to the device on the right. So you make sure you enter the correct Gmail address and then you proceed with the password.
now we have successfully signed in a google account to the other samsung device and you can see that the same account on the left is the same google account on my right then the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and finish this process now what we are going to do is we are going to head straight to the play store using the samsung device on my right now we have to search for this app called google find my device just type in the search box google find my device here it is and you click on it and install As soon as the app has successfully been installed, then we are going to open the app. Go ahead and click open. Then the app is going to ask you to sign in. Are you going to sign in with the Google account which you have signed to the device? And as you can see, the Google account that they are asking us to use is the same Google account on the device on my left. So what we need to do is to continue and then you enter the password. After entering the password, then you sign in. Make sure to enter the correct password. Once you have entered the correct password, then it is going to bring you to the interface where you can find my device. And as you can see, the Samsung S9 Plus is the device on my left. And that is the device that we are trying to remove Samsung account from. You can see that this is Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. And this is Android version 10. This method also works for Android 11, 12, 13 and the older versions as well. Now on the device on my right, we need to go ahead and select Galaxy S9 Plus. Go ahead and click on Galaxy S9 Plus. And once you click on the Galaxy S9 Plus, it is going to bring you to this tracking interface. Over here, you can play a sound. You will find a very tiny icon on the right, which is the settings. So on the right side of the screen, you will find the settings icon. Then you click on it. When you click on the settings icon, you are going to find the factory reset Galaxy S9 Plus. Oh, yeah. 
and as you can see factory reset galaxy s9 plus when you click on it you'll find out that the features include all data will be erased permanently from the galaxy s9 plus this means that we are going to use the samsung device on my right to command the samsung s9 plus to factory reset now you click reset device and then factory reset will start immediately now you can see that the samsung galaxy s9 has started erasing guys let us wait for a while and allow the samsung galaxy s9 plus to erase completely and then the device will boot back to the main menu Now the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has completely erased. Let us quickly set up the device and check if there is still a Samsung account in this device. Guys, you can see that there is no more a Samsung account in this device and we have successfully unlocked this Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus completely without a computer or any special software. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like this video, drop a comment and then I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed.